But now if you want to buy this set, and the only way to probably do it is through the non-Lego site, or you'll probably find it on eBay or Amazon. I think places like that if you want to still get a hold of the Heart Lake High. But this is what the Lego website says about this set. Have a have an exciting day at Heartbreak at Heart Lake High with Stephanie and Michael. Ride Stephanie's pretty blue bike to school. First, store her bag in her, and her laptop in her locker. Then head to the science class and study plant cells under the microscope. Experiment with the chemical reactions using the beakers or look through the astronomy telescope. Be the star of the biology class when Mrs. Stevens calls you to a chalkboard to identify the different parts of the owl's body. Help Matthew to point out the capital cities of the world in the geography class. Then Stephanie and Matthew wash their hands before lunch. Take some sandwiches and some juice from the cafeteria and eat it in the sun on the picnic table. Bring on the creative fun after lunch with the art class and easel. And then have a, mag uh, then have a music class with the guitar. After school, play basketball with Matthew or go on a bike ride. Includes like this set includes Stephanie, Matthew, and Mrs. Stevens, the minifig, yeah, which are minifig dolls. So there's quite a lot of stuff, as it says on there. We've got a cafeteria. We've got a science class. We've got an arts class. We've got a playground and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So at the moment, we're looking at the front. Yeah, just on the left hand side you're looking over here to zoom in a little bit yeah let's just try and focus yeah so from the front view we can see we've got the entrance just to the very front of high school and then we've got the toilet block moving over we've got Stephanie and a bike over there we've got the music class just for the window you can probably see a few bits of paint and then on the top we've got the clock and this science class so that's a view from the front. Now we're gonna have a view from the back. Okay, so we're turning it around now. So we're gonna have a little pan through and start it off. So let's start again on the left hand side. So the first class oh what was that actually the first start at the top, they said the first class was a science class. So we're now looking at the science classroom. Yeah, as you can currently see, just from the left hand side, it's a really, really novel sort of way how they've done this. They've got a, the pair of um, binoculars turned around onto a stand to make a microscope with a chemistry set right next to it. Um, I've just noticed the books have just fallen off the bookshelf, so let's quickly pick the bookshelf back up the bookshelf. Um, it comes with two books. It comes with two books. And actually inside the books, um, this one has flowers. It's a biology book, and this one has what's this one got inside it? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, it's got a little letter. Yes, yeah, sort of inside there itself. So even with the friends, they can never really fault you for um for accessories. Even the accessories have accessories inside them. Yes, yeah, sort of on the. Then we've got a really really nice telescope, sort of made out of a few studs and some one by ones modified. Um, some barrel bricks and finishing off a couple of taps it makes a really good thing we've got the owl sitting on there we've got the two seats sitting on the front if I turn it fairly slightly you see there we've got the pit the, the, the chalkboard yeah, where we can come and actually identify the name parts of the owl so really really good set which is just there right next right, next we've got the art class so the art class we can see we've got the music sheet sort of on there hanging up on the wall you can see we've got the guitar hanging up on the wall we've got an easel it swivels sort of over oh it did swivel just broke it yeah sort of means we've got the picture and the picture itself if we turn the thing around very slightly you can see we've got the table with the apple and the flowers of which we're actually drawing on the picture itself. Um, as I just turn on the side here, little points to note, we've got a couple of connected connections and then on the top there we've got some more connected connections. All these buildings are actually modular. Um, it doesn't matter how you have it. So this one comes from the top. I can take the top off on here. If I want to, I can clip it onto the side. 
make one long school building or I can have all three of them stacked on top of each other yeah it's all completely completely modular it's a really really good system about this Lego system for the friends sort of range all right finishing off we've got the entrance hall and we said Stephanie first comes in Let's swing this round yeah we've got our lockers with the two stickers either side we've got a little bench with some more stickers and posters say what's going on for the school school day the cafeteria with the milk cartons the juice cartons we've also got little burgers and cakes here yeah, inside it if you can see from from that side there's a cash register up there as well so lots and lots of stuff inside it's on the cafeteria so the last one we have is the washrooms or toilets yeah, that's what we call it in the UK. Yeah, so we've got the toilet itself and the little tap and just the door leading from the outside. So again, a really, really good little set. So this is just the other view. Yeah, as I said, you can have them all stacked on top of each other. And um, this is how I have it inside our house because it actually takes less space up on the shelf. Um, the way I had it before it looks a lot better, but um, for space, and sort of space saving this actually takes a lot of space but I still like it as it's on there itself so now we have a quick look at the other couple of things we have with the set okay, nothing really really special here it's a very very basic picnic bench and it's got a couple of um 1x8 pinks which I haven't actually got yet for the first time so they'll be quite nice for other things this has got a normal standard 4x8 it is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's eight. Yeah, brown plate on the top. Then we've got the basketball net. Um, there is meant to be a basketball, but um, like most things for my children, they've played basketball with the basketball net and the ball, and the ball has rolled off somewhere into the Lego room. And I'm st I've been searching for it before this video for about half an hour. And I've just come to the conclusion it's sort of a wall. I can't find it currently, but it is just a normal ball, an orange ball, plastic made out of plastic, which fits through the hoop fairly nicely. There's not much to it, but a technic on the back what holds it on, and then the basket on its top. So what we do now is just have a look at the last few minifigs. Okay, the last thing we're going to have a look at is the minifigs. So starting from your left we've got Stephanie, then we've got Matthew and Mrs. Stevens. So Stephanie's wearing a school uniform, she's got a, a blazer on, yeah, sort of tied tied up with a little bow around her waist, and then she's got a purple skirt with some I do believe they call them pink slips. Um like sort of on there, she's got a bow in her hair and sort of light hair. Andrew, not Andrew, uh, Matthew just got his black sort of long sort of come over here with his green polo shirt and blue trousers and currently he's holding a bit of money for buying some food at the cafeteria and then finally on the far right we have Miss Stevens um, a long white wavy skirt with some pink slips and a pink and purple sort of nice top and the face I quite like it it's got the set of glasses on it so I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see the faces there we go yeah so uh, you see there we can see some nice sort of detail with the faces which has got just on there right look at the backs let's just turn this board around um, nothing printed on here the backs are all three of them it's got some long wavy hair for Stephanie and on there um, just on the side here you can actually see the laptop it's actually just a normal book but it's actually been printed inside to make a laptop sort of screen and um, and keys which looks really 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 good um, cup, trying to turn this round now normal standard bike but the bag which Stephanie has has a little bit of print sort of on it um, the only one thing I have noticed about this set is it said Stephanie turns up to school on the push bike but one flaw I have seen with the Lego friends unlike the Lego minifigs that the hands are in a fixed position um, it's all well and good if you need the hands to be in that way but when you want to try and hold on to handlebars but it doesn't actually work because Stephanie sort of sits on this uh, but she's got a cycle to school um, just pro propping her fingers on or um, with no hands on the, on the handlebars isn't good practice the only thing I just noticed early on today 
um, that you can't actually rotate the wrist so when you're trying to hold sort of objects there's not much articulation you can really do with the Lego friend minifigs it's often hope what well, one day they might actually rectify to turn it around but the set itself I do really like this school set um, again like I say of all my friends videos the level of detail for the accessories inside these buildings is next to none um, you can't fault Lego for all, all the ideas and all the little things they're putting inside these sets to try to make them as most as playable and as imaginative as possible but when it comes to looking at the outside I still think that they're quite plain yeah, so when you look at the outside of the buildings they're quite plain, there's not much architecture or detail to the outside, it's all the friend stuff is all around the inside of the sets where I find a lot of the city range a lot of detail is for the outside and not much on the inside so you hopefully you never know one day they might combine the two give the city with the friends sort of stuff for inside the building I know recently um, they've just done it with the Lego Super uh, well the Lego with the Lego Simpsons Quickie Mart um, I've seen some reviews of some other uh, other um, YouTubers who've done some really really good reviews on this actual set itself um, the Brick Show for one of them he's got a really good review of that where it actually combines the outside and the inside and also um, um, it'll come back to me very very shortly Jang Bricks yeah Jang Bricks is another really good YouTuber who's got some um, lovely sort of sets um, of um, showing the new Simpsons Quickie Mart but yeah I haven't actually got it yet so I haven't can't place it onto my channel but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this and find it quite interesting um, if you are looking for the set it says they're on Lego shops they have just taken it out retired this project so if you do need this or want this you'd have to find other places to actually buy this off like Amazon or eBay sort of coming over itself but again thank you very much subscribe click like to this video add any comments down below I like reading them all and again so 